Hi, my name is Faith Fredrickson, and I'm a meteorologist with the National Weather Service office here in Gaylord, Michigan. And this video is part one of a two-part series on how to use the new National Weather Service radar page. So you're probably familiar with our current radar page that's going away uh, if you're watching this video. If you're wondering why it's going away, well, that's because the software that we use to play the radar loops, that's called Flash, and you probably recognize that from whenever you clicked on the loop, and it told you you needed to do something else to get your Flash to run. Uh, well, that, that software is going away, so that meant we needed to design a new page that would display the radar data without using that software. So if you clicked on this little thing up here that said click here, and you may have already clicked on that to see what the new radar site's going to look like, and you get there and you're like, what am I even looking at? Because this really doesn't look anything like the current radar page. So we in the Weather Service understand your confusion and the overwhelming feeling you probably have because we know a thing or two about major changes in the way we view radar. Uh, for instance, on the left here is an image from the 1974 super outbreak, and this is how radar images used to look like back in those days. So we actually had to put tracing paper with a map on it over the screen and trace the outlines of these storms to track the storms. In modern times, everything's on a computer, so we don't need any tracing paper. But this also is much more complicated and detailed and in-depth than this is. So because we know how you feel, you know, with, the, with these big changes, we decided to give you a how-to guide for, us, for using this new page, whether you want to use it as closely as possible to the old page, or if you want to learn some new things and add a few new tricks to your radar bag. So again, if you just want to do what you used to do with the old radar page as closely as possible with the new radar page, this is the video for you. So again, on the left, we've got the uh, current, or the one that's going away, uh, national radar page. And on the right is the new radar page that's the default national radar page. On the old version, to go to a radar, you basically just clicked on the blue dot to go to the radar that you want. And you had all these different ver uh, regional sectors that you could go to. On the new version, there's actually uh, multiple ways to get to a single radar. And by the way, the new version starts right out with a composite or a mosaic image of uh, the national radar. So that's... Um, that's sort of similar to what you know. And these multiple ways to get to the radar, we have uh, option A on the left in the red box is select view, and that's the most similar to what you're used to. So that's what we're going to focus on in this video. Uh, the box in the yellow location is a little bit different, and for the purposes of not confusing you, we'll focus on that in part two. So again, how to get from national radar to local radar, similar way to how you used to do it. So the first thing you do is you go to uh, up here to select view, and once you click on that, it would bring up this menu. And what you'd want to do is click on radar station products and actually click on the words itself. If you click the down arrow, it's just going to give you some info, and that's probably not going to help you if you only want to look at the radar. So go ahead and click on the uh, words where it says radar station products. That's going to bring up this map that looks really similar to what you're used to with the blue dots. And uh, these dots are actually color-coded to show you um, how old the radar data is. So for instance, you know, there's some red ones on here. And that indicates those radars are probably out of date or perhaps down for maintenance or something like that. And then once you get to this page, like the way that you did the old page, you just click on the blue dot or whatever dot to go to the location of interest. And now that we're um, to that point, we're going to look at how to navigate the local radar page as closely as possible to the old way. So again, just a refresher, the old page. You've got your uh, radar navigation controls to go to different radars. Then down here, you've got all the different radar options that you can look at, the different products. 
uh, down here at the bottom, you've got the uh, different background overlays and things that you can put on there, like warnings and cities and highways and other labels. Then over here, you've got your, um, your legend or your color table or your key for the radar image. And then um, it's not displayed here because I didn't take a screenshot when I was in loop mode. But if you were in loop mode, that's where you'd see your radar controls like zoom and play and pause. So on the new page, to move to a different radar, all you have to do is click on the little blue dots, which I've highlighted by these red boxes. And to, uh, your radar legend is down here at the bottom now. I've highlighted that in yellow. It looks a little bit smoother now, too. And over here on the left and the bottom, you have the uh, your radar controls. That's zoom in and zoom out, the plus and minus, zoom in and zoom out, and um, play and pause. And when it says you're always in loop mode now, if you think about how we used to do it, where you had to be in loop mode to zoom in and zoom out and play and pause your loop, well, you don't, there's not like an interim step anymore. You basically, you're always able to zoom in and zoom out and play and pause. And also down here is your, uh, oh, there's my mouse. Down here is your timestamp for your image. Now to choose your radar image on the new page, you'll go up to the top here. And on the left, you see here it says KAPX. So that's the name of our radar. So as you can see here, that's what's uh, centered on the display is our radar here. And the middle option, where it says BREF RAW, that is the product selection or what radar imagery you want to look at. When you click on that, it's going to bring up this menu of different options and things. And I've highlighted the ones that you're probably going to be the most familiar with from the old page. So you've got your reflectivity and base velocity. And uh, this one down here is where it says storm relative motion. That's your storm relative velocity. You've got some precipitation stuff, another base velocity, and composite reflectivity as well. And by the way, when you click on a different thing, that's going to change what this designator says. Not a huge deal, but this is just going to be the location that you click on to change your radar product. And then when you're uh, going to play around with the backgrounds and overlays, well, if you click on this little triangle, with the exclamation point, that's going to show what warnings and advisories are currently in place. So I've got an example of one down here from Boston, and radar for this warning is not shown here. As you can see, this is Michigan and not Boston. But um, as you can see, they've got a special marine warning. So if I were to click on that, then, <clears throat> excuse me, if I were to click on that, then that would bring up a little link where you could actually click on that to see the text product and you know read the actual warning itself. So if you're into that, that would be something you'd be interested in. And if you click on those three dots up here, um, right next to it, if you click on those three dots, that'll let you turn on your storm-based warnings, so they're on or off. And storm-based, by the way, is just tornado or thunderstorm. And then you can also choose whether or not to let your background show through and choose to show other radar locations or not. So that just turns off the blue dots or turns them back on if you've had them turned off. Uh, if you click on these three lines up here, that's going to be your matte backgrounds and overlays. So your, where it says base layer, that's your background of your map, basically. And you've got five different options for that that you can play with and find your favorite. And then you can also overlay states, counties, and county warning areas, which are uh, the National Weather Service jurisdiction outlines. Uh, so you can outline those as well. So if you really only wanted to know how to navigate the new page the same way that you did the old page, then we'll basically tell you all you really need to know. If you want to become more familiar with how to use the new radar page, you can feel free to check out part two of the series where we discuss how to navigate the new page, and we'll give you also a brief overview of the new radar products that you can look at. We'll also have this presentation and other resources for the new radar page on our website to help you make the transition 
from the old page to the new page. Uh, other offices have also created uh, tutorials and how-to things on the new radar page, so we'll try to put those links up there as well. If we missed anything, you still have any questions or any other suggestions, feel free to contact us. Our website is weather.gov slash Gaylord, and we have contact info at the bottom of our webpage. You can also find us on Twitter uh, at NWS Gaylord, or on Facebook, uh, U.S. National Weather Service Gaylord, Michigan. And if you're interested, um, as we get going with some more of this virtual education type stuff, we're actually going to start up a page, and we'll have discussions of different things like radar basics and other weather info. So you may find that interesting at a future point in time.